Welcome to our lesson for today. It is all about null and alternative hypothesis in statistics and probability. So in this video, we're going to discuss um, in simplest way. Okay, so in Tagalog, let's um, let, we're going to discuss this lesson para mas madali nyo maintindihan, especially sa mga naguguluhan sa lesson na ito. Okay, so let's proceed. So for our learning title, Illustrating the Null and Alternative Hypothesis, Types of Error and Rejection Region. So, dito sa video na ito, discuss natin kung paano ba mag-formulate or paano ba, uh, ano bang ibig sabihin ng Null and Alternative Hypothesis. Okay? So, sa mga bago pa lang, or ngayon pa narinig nito, or siguro some of you mga nakalimutan na, or medyo naguguluhan. Okay. So don't for don't worry kasi sa video na ito, discuss natin lahat 'yan. Types of error, yan, and then the rejection region. And also for our learning objective, okay? Or the lesson objective is to illustrate the null and alternative hypothesis and to describe rejection region and type 1 and type 2 error in hypothesis testing. So um hindi um, for sure, okay, um, this video makakatulong to sa inyo para uh, mas makuha nyo or maintindihan nyo yung lesson and makakuha kayo na mataas na score sa inyong exam or sa quiz sa inyong school. Okay, so sa hypothesis testing, meron tayong tinatawag na hypothesis Hypothesis testing and statistical hypothesis. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga ito? Ito mismo yung mga laging yung uh, mababasa or mababasa nyo mismo doon sa statistic problem. Okay, so pag sinabi natin, what is hypothesis? Or pag sinabi natin hypothesis, it is simply a statement that something is true. It is a tentative explanation, a claim, or assertion about people objects or event. So, ibig sabihin, pag sinabi natin hypothesis, ito mismo yung mga statement. Parang meron tayong kiniklaim, meron tayong research, meron tayong gustong i-prove na yung tama ba, tama ba yung research natin or hindi. So, using the hypothesis, using hypothesis testing, malalaman natin kung kailangan ba natin tanggapin yung research or hindi. Okay? So, meron din tayong tinatawag na hypothesis testing. Pag sinabi naman nating hypothesis testing, it is a statistical method that as or that is used in making statistical decision using experimental data. Dito ginagamit ang hypothesis testing to know or to have an explanation or this is the method or ito yung method na ginagamit. Especially kapag experiment yung data, okay? Dito natin malalaman or dito ito yung ginagamit natin in decision making kung kailangan ba nating i-accept or i-reject yung research. Okay? So dito naman mayroon tayong tinatawag din na statistical hypothesis. Pag sinabi naman nating statistical hypothesis is a conjecture conjecture or conjecture um, that about the population parameter the conjecture may or may not be true. Ibig sabihin um um, this um, statistical hypothesis um, parang iisa lang ibig sabihin ng mga ito kailangan natin i-prove kung totoo ba or hindi yung research okay so sa hypothesis meron tayong two types null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis so pag sinabi natin null hypothesis this is denoted by H or capital H and O and then, kapag alternative hypothesis naman, um, capital H and A, or minsan tinatawag itong, or ginagamit is H and 1. Okay, so capital H and 1. So, same lang yan, kung ano ibig sabihin. So, para mas madali nyong maintindihan kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis, we have here the explanation. 
Okay, so two types of hypothesis. Number one is null hypothesis and number two is alternative hypothesis. So pag sinabi natin null hypothesis, this expresses the idea of no existence relationship or difference between the variable under the study. This is usually designated by not or no term. Okay, dito, pag sinabi natin null hypothesis, so sa madaling salita, no existence of relationship. No difference or no changes and so on and so forth. Okay, so for example, there is no significant relationship between the grade in first semester and second semester in math subject. So dito, makikita nyo na kaagad na null hypothesis yung statement dahil may makikita kang hint word. Yung hint word na yun, yung tinatawag natin na not. Okay, or no. So, pag may nakita kang no or not, ibig sabihin nan, null hypothesis na kaagad yung problem or yung statement. So, how about the alternative hypothesis? Pag sinabi naman nating alternative hypothesis, this is the opposite of null hypothesis. So, kabaliktaran daw. Kabaliktaran mismo yan ng null hypothesis. It is states that um, is it states that the existence of relationship or difference meron daw existence of relationship or merong difference may pagbabago or may iba or hindi siya equal so for example there is a significant relationship between the grade in first semester and second semester in math subject so ganun makikita mo kaagad na alternative hypothesis ang problem or ang statement kapag wala kang makikita ng no. So, ang pinakamadaling um, technique lang dyan is kapag may nakita kang no, not, no changes, and so on and so forth na mga hint word, ibig sabihin nun alternative hypothesis. Kapag may nakita ka naman ng mga no, not, or other um, hint word, null hypothesis ang tawag doon. Okay? So, ganun lang siya kadali. Okay, so let's move naman sa ating types of error. So, dito naman sa types of error, ito mismo yung medyo nakakalito. So, medyo nakakalito ito sa iba kapag medyo hindi familiar, hindi kayo familiar sa null and alternative hypothesis. So, para mas madali nyo maintindihan, kailangan nyo intindihin muna yung kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng null hypothesis. So, again, pag sinabi natin null hypothesis, there is... Uh, this is the statement that there, there is no significant relationship or there is no existence. Ibig sabihin, walang pagbabago, there is no changes, and so on and so forth. So dito, paano natin malalaman kung anong types of error ang meron? Okay, so dito, um, papadaliin natin kung ano bang ibig sabihin yan. So meron tayong types of error, minsan tinatawag itong alpha error, and meron din tayong tinatawag na beta error. So, ano bang ibig sabihin ng mga ito? So, dito, sa type 1 error, okay, dito, or type 1 error is also known as alpha error. So, this means that um, na-prove mo na um, ang null hypothesis is true. Tama. Tama yung null hypothesis natin. Or, tinatawag natin na kailangan natin i-accept si null hypothesis yung proof na there's no existence or there's no relationship. Ibig sabihin, kapag na-prove mo na tama or tama si null hypothesis, ibig sabihin nun, type 1 error yon Alpha error ang tawag doon. Bakit? Kasi, napatunayan mo na false si null hypothesis. Ibig sabihin, yung null hypothesis natin is false. Ibig sabihin nun, Ah, meron tayong correct decision. Ibig sabihin nun, kailangan nating i-reject si null hypothesis kasi based from our data, based from our solution, nakita natin doon na yung null hypothesis ay kailangan nating i-reject. Okay, so later on, magkakaroon tayo ng um, discussion about the 7 or 6 step of um, hypothesis testing. Kung paano ba natin gagamitin yun or paano natin malalaman kung anong types of error and kailangan ba natin i-reject or accept si null hypothesis. So again, pag sinabi nating type 1 error, this is also known as alpha error. 
dito mismo na prove natin na prove natin na sinal hypothesis ay false ibig sabihin kailangan natin siyang i-reject kailangan natin i-reject mismo si null hypothesis okay so on the other hand naman pag sinabi naman nating um, accept the null hypothesis ibig sabihin nito type 2 error yan this is also known as beta error so ibig sabihin dito si null hypothesis na prove natin na totoo so kapag na-prove na natin na totoo si null hypothesis ibig sabihin kailangan natin siyang i-accept and then this means that yung error na nakuha natin or yung error or type of error na meron tayo doon mismo sa hypothesis is beta error o yung tinatawag natin na type 2 error okay so ganun lang pag sinabi nating null hypothesis kailangan lang natin i-prove kung true or false siya ibig sabihin kapag true or kapag na-prove na natin na um, false ang ating null hypothesis hindi siya tat hindi siya totoo or hindi siya true ibig sabihin nun type true type 1 error or alpha error kapag na-prove naman natin na true si null hypothesis this means that type 2 error tayo or yung tinatawag natin na beta error okay so ganun lang um, wag lang kayo malilito so dito sa, sa slide na ito next, uh, pinadali na natin na Say, kasi sa mga libro and other sources medyo nakakalito ito so basta tatandaan nyo lang na kapag sinabi nating null hypothesis kapag nireject natin yan ibig sabihin yan na prove natin na false false mismo si null hypothesis so ibig sabihin nun type 1 error or alpha error kapag i-accept naman natin si null hypothesis ibig sabihin yan i-accept natin siya kasi na prove natin na totoo or true true mismo si null hypothesis and then it means that type 2 error siya and beta error ang tawag doon okay so let's have a exercise try to understand or try to answer this one so sabi dito number 1 there is significant um, there is a significant difference between the mean score of student before and after the review class number two there is no significant difference between section a and section b number three there is no difference between the price of milk tea show my and milk tea Ayan. and number four there is it changes in size of pants before and after quarantine okay so try to solve or try to analyze this one and if naintindihan niya ba talaga ang lesson natin okay so for uh, for the answer ang sagot po dito so number one alternative hypothesis so bakit alternative hypothesis yan so based from the statement above na prove natin or nakita natin na walang nakalagay na no diba sabi ko before sabi ko kanina um, kapag may nakita kang o nabasa kang no na hint word ibig sabihin nun null hypothesis so dito nakita natin na walang nakalagay na no so this means that, that this type of hypothesis is alternative hypothesis so number 2 the answer is null hypothesis so bakit or paano siya naging null hypothesis based from the statement sa number 2 meron tayo nakitang hint word na no so ibig sabihin ang ating sagot dito is null hypothesis and number 3 the answer is null hypothesis again bakit? dahil may nakita tayong ulit ng um, hint word na no sabi dyan there is no difference sabi dyan so, ibig sabihin null hypothesis ulit yan and for our last number 4 okay so ang sagot dyan is alternative hypothesis so back paano siya naging alternative hypothesis dahil nakita natin na wala namang hint word dyan na no so ibig sabihin this statement is alternative hypothesis okay so ganun lang kadali so sana naintindihan nyo ang lesson natin ngayong araw and kung meron man kayo natutunan sa araw na ito or sa video na ito don't forget to like or give thumb up thumbs up and subscribe my channel 
subscribed and thank you very much for watching